All right, yeah, we are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to one more Van Hack webinar. Today will be all about the power of communication and how to make English your best friend on your job search. But before I begin, I'm going to ask you three questions. Uh, question number one, can you all hear me and hear me? See me and hear me. Can you all see me and hear me? Just right here, yes, on the chat. Can you all see me and hear me? There is a delay here, so uh, that's okay. Uh, yes, okay, I can, uh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Great, great, excellent, excellent. I'm happy it's working, very good. Okay, question number two, yeah. So come on, you know, we have almost 100 people. Yeses, 100 yeses. Yeah, I hope nobody says no. So question number two, how old are you? Just your number. Yeah, just uh, a number. How old are you? I would like to know the age range we have here. The, from the youngest to the oldest. So how old are you? Wow, 50. Wow. 29, 28, 32, 24, 28, 50. The oldest so far. Anybody uh, uh, 20? 18 sounds like an auction actually. Double X. <laughs> Hello, double X. All right. Is double X too old? All right. Uh, 31, 41. Yeah, 30. Yeah, nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, question number three uh, your nationality. Uh, please just write your nationality. Remember, in English, nationality is a capital letter. So, just your nationality Brazilian, Japanese, uh, uh, Nigerian, uh, Colombian, Venezuelan. Uh, just your nationality. Where are you from? Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian. Okay, I'll, I'll go so quick. Um, I, I've seen two or three different nationalities here, Indian, right? I, I've seen another, it's just going too quick. So, uh, all right, okay, great, excellent. All right, Brazilian, Brazilian. All right, there's a delay here, so, uh, okay, Filipino. Um, most of Spain, excellent. Brazilian, okay, people from all over the world. Okay, so, okay, um, well, we're going to start with, you know, the five reasons why English is and should be your best friend. So, reason number one, English means opportunities, yeah? It really helps you to find a job abroad. It, it increases your chances of getting a job abroad. You all know that. Yeah. Reason number two, English can work as a bridge between the second and the third language. So once you reach a certain level with English, learning the third language is not going to be that as hard as it was when you learned the second language. So if you really focus hard, if you dedicate to mastering English as a second language, so the third, la third language is actually going to be very easy. So reason number three, it gives you the feeling of independence. It boosts your self-confidence. It boosts your self-esteem. Imagine you're going to, to travel on a budget and you need to bargain prices. You need to ask for a discount, right? If you master the second language, if you're confident about your English, you really can do that easily, right? Or if you go to a job interview, you go more confident, yeah? When you control everything you want to say. So reason number four is good for business, especially research. When you do research in English, you all know that, that the amount of resources you can get on the internet in English is way more compared to any other language. Even Chinese with one billion, one billion people plus, you still find more resources in, in English. Even with India, with one billion plus people living in India, you still find more resources in English on the internet, yeah? And reason number five, yeah? So when you go to the cinema, you watch your favorite movie, you watch your favorite film. So subtitles can be a burden. In, in fact, just think, you know, Hollywood studios, they invest millions of dollars producing films. They pay millions of dollars to the best actors on the planet. So, and then, you know, for you to have fully, to enjoy fully the experience, yeah? So your eyes need to be looking on the screen. 
But when you have subtitles, ignoring dub, yeah? So when you have subtitles, your eyes are op uh, up and down, up and down. So the experience is not really what it should be. So that can also really help you enjoy whatever you're doing, reading books, uh, uh, you know, going to the cinema. Uh, this really helps you enjoy those experiences way better. So those are the five reasons on why English should be and must be your best friend. But speaking of second language, yeah, so how do I learn the second language? Okay, we, we know there are many techniques, uh, uh, many methodologies and everything else, but everything can be summarized in simple steps, yeah? So step number one is all about phonetics, is all about pronunciation, is all about sounds, right? We have people from all over the world now, and in your own language, you, you have you know, your own way of pronouncing your alphabet to pronounce words to speak, yeah? So, but sometimes the second language, English, may, it may have sounds that you do not have in your native language. And I'm going to show you just, you know, I'm going to share with you a few examples uh, just for you to understand what I'm talking about. When you talk about Dutch, yeah? So the G in English, you all know that the G is like good, yeah, good, 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 good. But in Dutch, the G is pronounced differently. The, the, uh, the G in Dutch is pronounced as H. So this in Dutch is Hood. And the J in Dutch is pronounced Ye. So you see, once you learn that the G in Dutch is pronounced differently, and the J in Dutch is pronounced differently, everything else starts to begin, starts to sound easier, clearer. So in Spanish, you have Spanish speaking people here tonight. As you know, the Spanish J is yeah, so Juan, Jose. Actually, the sound of J in Spanish is almost identical to G in Dutch. But then in German, they have sounds that probably you don't have in your own, in your own language, which is the CH, which is the sound of ich. So this is hard, but once you master, once you learn how to replicate the sound, everything sounds easy. So ich. So and in English, a th. Some of your languages you don't have the sound. So think that, thought, thank you. So um, and one example. Look, when you learn how to pronounce ich, when you learn about the sound of Ich. So if you hear somebody saying in German, ich liebe dich, so you maybe you don't understand, maybe you don't know what Liebe is, but you can have an idea what the person is saying. You can identify sentence parts. And speaking of sentence, sentence parts, this is the second step when learning a second language, a third or fourth. So it's sentence parts, basically. You need to learn, begin with pronouns. Right? So, ich is a pronoun. It's, look, ich, ich. So, you see, I think you can guess what ich in, the, in German is. Look, ich. So, so, in Dutch, ich, yeah? So, in English, I. So, so pronounce is really important. Almost in step number one, when you talk about sentence parts. And then you go to numbers, nouns, adjectives, and learn the structure as a whole. And then at the end, really at the advanced level, uh, idioms, yeah, it's idiomatic expressions. So, and those two steps, you can actually do in your own language. You can do it in your own time. You don't need to go to school. You don't need to go uh, 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 to pay a professional. Yeah, so you can do it in your own time. So, and to learn the sounds, you can use uh, uh, Google Translate, for example. I don't like it. But, uh, you know, those kind of electronic tools can actually help you learn the sounds of the second language, yeah? So in sentence parts, you have to actually study a little bit. But you can do those two steps in your own language, in your own time, by yourselves. Step number three is listening and reading, right? So, okay, this is when you're going to actually be a little bit more interactive. And you can do this maybe by yourself or going to a school or having English classes, private or in company or with us. So, so um, 
in listening reading is basically what is really important for you to know is that these actions, listening reading, they must be enjoyable and they must be voluntary. Right? And let me let me explain what I mean by voluntary. So if I am your teacher, yeah, and if I say to you, well, um, listen to this CD and uh, this will help you with your grammar and pronunciation, right? And then you get home, uh, you play the CD and it talk, it's talking about bees or it's talking about cars or something that is totally abstract and irrelevant to your reality. So this is a, not a voluntary action. What I mean by enjoyable experiences and voluntary is you, you have to decide what to listen to. You have to decide what you want to read. And only then you can contact your teacher, you can contact your coach, you can contact your friend and ask, I would like to use this to help me with my English. Do you think it's okay according to my level? So, so first you decide and then you share. So because when you decide to do things by yourselves, your mind is 100% open. If I tell you what to do, there is a resistance. Yeah, so basically that's the difference. So cartoons, just two examples here, cartoons and short stories, if, you're, if your level is kind of basic, uh, uh, they, they kind of use easy vocabulary, uh, so they, they, they can be good, but you should decide by yourselves. And step number four, finally, is writing and speaking, right? Once you learn the sounds of a language, you identify sentence parts, and you practice reading, reading and listening. So the next step, the next logical step, is to speak and write, yeah? So and this is really crucial, yeah? And this is like, you need to do this with other people, because you need to write from you to somebody else, right? You need to say something to somebody else. So basically, those are the four steps uh, that uh, basically, really, uh, it works with everything, really, as far as the second, the third, and fourth languages are concerned. So by the way, I forgot to say right in the beginning, yeah? so if you, have, if you do have any questions, take your notes. Yeah, I cannot see the chat. I'm not seeing anything right now. So take your notes, uh, or write down your questions. At the very end, uh, um, we're going to answer your questions, OK? So there you go. All right, and I created an analogy here because I believe most of you work with technology, yeah? So for you to understand how the second language works in our brain, okay? So, all right, BIOS, as, as I hope you know, basic input and output system. Yeah, that's what BIOS means, guys. All right, so, okay, BIOS is fixed, predefined, and the basis of everything in our analogy BIOS is our brain. So ROM, read-only memory, you should know, is non-volatile, permanent content. And it's really hard to add content to your BIOS, but it's actually possible. And in our analogy, it's your native tongue. And the third RAM, random access memory, you should know. So it's a temporary storage. And it is easy to add content. In our analogy, is your skills in your second language. And this is, how, this is how the brain works. If this is an English class, and I throw information at you, so this information is going to be stored in your RAM. But the question is, is it going to be stored also in your ROM? Hmm, maybe not. Probably not. Probably a small percentage of everything that you see in your class is going to be stored in your own. So, uh, so it, you need to create a bridge between the RAM and the ROM. And to create a bridge between the RAM and the, RAM and the ROM is basically creating a series of actions, daily and weekly actions, to reprogram your brain, so to reprogram your computer, so the native tongue opens the doors to a second language. So what I mean is, if you have two less English lessons a week, they are going to be probably in your ROM, and a small percentage is going to create a, a you know, store memory in your ROM. So what you need to do, really, uh, you need to increase the exposure of the second language. You need to create new habits. You need to create new actions. 
You need to think of whatever you're doing daily and weekly, what can you change to, the, to English, right? It's just do a quick checklist. 10 things you do every week, yeah? So from those 10 things, which of those items can I start doing it in English? If you can do all of them, great, yeah? Uh, but that's how it begins. That's how you change uh, information, data from your RAM to your ROM, because classes themselves are never enough. They're too slow, yeah? So this is how it works. All right, so, and let's find out the best friends, yeah, when you talk about English, best friends. We all talk about change, yeah? So, but the only way to change things is to change things. So, what I mean is, if you want to increase your English levels, you have to change whatever you're doing. Because if you don't, your levels are not going to change. If you want to boost your working skills, you need to add additional information, right? You need to research a little bit more. Look, I believe all of you know how to increase, increase and, and boost your professional skills, right? So English is the same. It's absolutely the same. So whatever you do to learn new skills, you have to do the same to learn new English grammar, idioms, uh, uh, expressions, phrasal verbs, the process is the same, yeah? So you need to change the way you're doing things in order to change your English levels. There is no other way. This is the only way. There is no magic, yeah? So second, best friend, is perseverance. Uh, probably you know, yeah, that whatever you guys do very well today, you had to persevere in the past. You needed to be stubborn. So because without perseverance, whatever you're doing good today, you wouldn't be doing that good today. So you had to perse persevere. You needed to commit, yeah? So in order to do whatever you're doing good today, yeah? So in our third best friend is time. And this is really, really, really important because the more time you invest on anything and of course we're talking about english here but the more time you invest the bigger the results will be and when you think about going back to whatever you're doing here today probably you dedicate a lot of time in your life to do whatever you're doing good today first you needed to persevere right and perseverance means dedicating and allocating more time, right? So this is a must. You just must do this because without dedicating time, without reserving the time, things will be slow, yeah, extremely slow. So one thing people have in common, successful people they have in common, they're single-minded, yeah, and they, they take a lot of time to do one thing, a single thing. In technology, we talk a lot about, you know, being multitask, learning, you know, several skills. So, you know, technology changes so much. Every two, three months, something new, and I need to learn, you know, new stuff. Great. Nothing wrong with that. But when you talk about English, that doesn't work. You need to insist. You need to be stubborn. You need to dedicate time and time and time. There is no other way. So the more time you invest, the bigger the results. So, and challenge and conclusion, yeah? So when you talk about Van Heck, yeah? So we have lots of services as far as premium services are concerned. And Van Heck, as you will learn soon, it can be your best partner in crime to get work abroad yeah so look we've seen english yeah english has to be number one priority for you whatever you want to do literally whatever you want to do english has to be priority number one yeah if you're talking about working and living abroad even in your own home countries yeah so i'm sure if you want to work for a multinational you need to go through job interviews correct 
So, uh, and if they have two candidates and one speaks better English than the other, probably the one with better English will have more chances to get the job. So in step number two, yeah, so are the tools that you can get to help you to achieve your goals of living abroad, yeah? And Vahaka really, really, really can help you with that, yeah? And as we're talking about English, so Van Hex uh, premium services uh, include English lessons, yeah, uh, daily and weekly English lessons. Uh, you know, our services also include international profiling. You know, it can help you with your resume, cover letter, and LinkedIn uh, review. You know, it can check your LinkedIn page. It can help you uh, uh, create that amazing cover letter. Yeah. One thing you know that you also have to know is that. You know, you have your resume today, right? Well, it's in English. In English is good, right? Okay, but are you sure that your profile, your LinkedIn page, your resume, is it perfect for international market? Is it perfect for uh, companies in other countries? Yeah, because remember, when you talk about countries, you have different cultures, different ways of seeing things, yeah? So, and Van Hack also can give you access to a career coach that can really help you, yeah? Finding, you know, feeling, feeling the gaps, uh, English gaps, career gaps, CV gaps, yeah? And it can give you really unlimited support, you know, from our team of experts to help you achieve your goal of getting hired and moving to the country of your dreams, yeah? Uh, so, we're talking about English, yeah? So, English lessons, what we do, uh, we do weekly lessons, uh, you know, you can choose the days and the times you want. Yeah, lessons, they're basically, you know, four different types of lessons. Uh, you can have grammar lessons. Uh, they also include pronunciation. Uh, you can do interview practice and also IELTS preparation. So you can have all these services on a weekly basis. Yeah, open really. If you're a free member, premium member, uh, um, you can have those services. Uh, they're included, you know. And what is, what is incredible, really, is that, you know, wherever you are in the world, yeah, you think about your career and you think, well, you know, if you can afford, logically, uh, I need to have English classes to uh, boost with my English skills. Uh, maybe I can, if I, if I have the spare money, I mean, uh, I can hire a coach to help me uh, with my uh, interview skills and uh, help uh, me with my CV and, uh, and LinkedIn page and everything. Well, imagine having all that in one service only, yeah? So you can save a lot of money, really, yeah? So, and these are uh, some of our experts at uh, Von Hack. Uh, that's uh, me on the left, yeah? So uh, I'm a, I'm a, I've been, a, a, you know, a language consultant for many years. I'm, I also am an entrepreneur. Uh, you have uh, Alicia uh, and Stephanie. Uh, the three of us, we give uh, uh, English lessons here at Van Hack. Uh, so, uh, and I tell you, we do have fun uh, giving those lessons, you know, it's really fun uh, teaching developers, uh, helping them uh, to find a job abroad. It's really rewarding. Uh, I've been giving English lessons, you know, for many years, uh, but it has never been that fun giving lessons to people that I know if I have a student today and I may lose this student tomorrow. When you think about that, it's like, she, oh man, I'm losing a student. That is sad. No, I'm actually happy. Because when you lose students, it means that they actually moved abroad. They actually got the job of their dreams. So it's a quite weird uh, feeling when you lose a student. It's actually a good thing. So, um, and also we have Larissa and Julia. Yeah, Larissa is our expert in, you know, in really ensuring that all of the other skills uh, will be at optimum. Uh, so, so basically, that's our team, yeah? So, and, and look, I'm gonna share with you three uh, testimonials of, of three successful cases, yeah? Very recent, really. Uh, Sam, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's got a job in Germany. And this is what he wrote. So, faster. This is the way that things happened to me since I've become a Van Hack premium member. I saw why Van Hack has a good reputation. It's a company with a lot of content and amazing professionals. Where I met Larissa, the amazing Larissa, an awesome career coach that helped me to structure my resume, showed me how to do a cover letter, and explained to me how I can as uh, astonish recruiters with a good LinkedIn. Yeah. 
Uh, and this was the point. On the second day that I published my new LinkedIn, I was found by a recruiter that invited me for a job interview. Fortunately, Van Heck provides almost daily interview practices that can improve our soft skills, not forgetting that it also improves our confidence. That's what I told you before, remember? Self-confidence. So after a five-step job interview and lots of tests, I was hired. Yes, Sam, you were hired by a company in Berlin, Germany. Preparation is key to success. You could do this alone, of course, but being a Van Heck Premium member, you can do it faster. Everything, of course, you can do it alone, but having a helping hand is always better. So, and then, and then we have Gustavo, a full stack developer. He's actually got a job in the Netherlands. Yeah, remember I said that, you know, two Dutch words in the past, in, 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 you know, uh, Hood, NEA. So I heard about Van Heck from another developer. And right away, I decided to be a premium member to get ready and understand the international market to help them with my resume and my profile, as well as the interview classes and mock interviews before the real calls with the company helped me a lot to be more confident and ready to get hired. I've been working for a great company in the Netherlands for six months now, and I'm sure this was the right decision for my career. I'm improving myself as a professional, embracing new challenges and enjoying the expat life in an amazing country. Congratulations, Gustavo. And Fabiana for Freire, yeah? She was selected for LEAP 2.0 as a candidate, yeah? And now she's going to Canada for an interview. So Van Heck Premium, that's what she said, is a great opportunity to improve yourself. You can try finding a job abroad by walking, or you can take a big jump with Premium. I strongly recommend. All right, so just to review everything, yeah? So English should be number one for you, should be priority number one in your best friend. Priority number two, it's really up to you. You decide, you really know what to do and what needs to be improved in your career and increasing your skills in order to increase the opportunities to find a job abroad, yeah? But, uh, so basically that's it. Yeah, so uh, questions and answers now. Uh, we have Andresa here. She's going to be very happy to answer all your questions regarding on how to learn English, how to have English as your second language, uh, if you have any questions regarding that. If you have any questions regarding uh, the premium membership, the premium services, uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, Andresa is right here. And she's going to be very happy to answer those questions. And I will also answer those questions. So let's just go here to the chat. So there we go. OK. So if you ask any question, please feel free to, feel free to ask any questions. So you may have so questions regarding your English, how to learn English. It's a good idea uh, to learn English like a child learn. Yeah, absolutely. A child learns like that. Exactly. Those four steps that I showed to you, that's how a child learns. Yeah, that's what I call natural learning. Yeah. So, uh, and it works. That's, that's how we work. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, Tiago, I've seen some remote jobs. I recommend that listen to podcasts to improve uh, uh, English. Okay, podcasts is good. It's a third step, remember, listening. So any questions? Do you guys help with any other language other than English? I think uh, Andresa can answer that question. Okay, um, great. Alessandra, I hear your message here in Portuguese, yeah, that you understood uh, uh, a lot, which is very good. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that you understood a lot. Okay, uh, what are the tips uh, to people that are not very, okay. Okay, Fernando, okay, tips, yeah? So, okay, nervousness, being nervous is a personal thing, is a psychological thing, right? So uh, nobody really can give you uh, this secret formula on how not to be nervous, right? But what I'm gonna tell you, you already know, yeah, the practice makes it perfect. Yeah, practice makes it perfect. 
So if you're going, if you're going to go to a job interview, so in order for you not to be nervous, you need to practice talking about yourself. And I can tell you, uh, look, three things that can really help you. Uh, your friend, your English teacher, wherever you are in the world, and our services. Because with VanHack, you can have two in one. You can have English classes, and you can have mock interviews. And in mock interviews, they will really help you. They're going to they're gonna give you feedback uh, exactly to for you to practice and, and repeat and repeat and, and talk more about yourself until one day you're really confident about talking about yourself and answering those tough questions uh, that you may uh, face in a job interview. So English is very important in tech skills. So just like your mother language, maybe uh, the nervous, okay. Uh, what is the duration? Okay, well, Douglas, what's the duration of the English classes? Right now we have classes of one hour in an hour and a half, twice a week, yeah? So one hour in an hour and a half, twice a week. Uh, we are uh, increasing, uh, so uh, we may uh, have uh, different times and uh, different durations, but as of now, uh, duration of classes, one hour in an hour and a half, Douglas. And how many classes per week uh, we can attend? Well, you have a limit, as I understand. If I say something wrong, please, Andresa, correct me here. So I, you have 30 hours a week, a month, yeah? So that's your limitation. So basically, you can attend all classes if you want, yeah? So, uh, so 30 hours a month. Okay, Tiago, a, a, a Discord server, yeah? So there is no official. Uh, um, a Discord server uh, of Unhack at the moment, yeah, but uh, there may be because Discord is becoming more and more popular, yeah. So, yes, uh, we may have a, a Discord server. Uh, we also do, I host uh, every week. If there is anybody here who likes Linux and games, look, Linux and games, I'm hosting every week a one hour talk. Uh, you know, free talk is not an English lesson, yeah, but uh, uh, for people to join me and talk about Linux and games. It's a free conversation just for people to, to practice their English, yeah, and talk about games and Linux. You know, if you love games, if you love Linux, that's one reason to join me every week. We have really fun. Uh, we share knowledge. It's really good. It's really good. I, I have a great time. So, yeah, but Discord, yeah, Discord, it, it, it may happen, you know, so... Uh, Okay, my, my issue is building sentences in English when I talk, okay. So Tiago Marino, yeah, so my issue is building sentences in English, right? So, okay, remember the four steps, yeah? So step number one and step number two is understanding sentence parts, yeah? So you need to know your pronouns, you need to know your adjectives, your nouns, your adverbs, yeah, you need to know them, yeah? And you can do that by yourself. Yeah, so it, once you know, it's like a puzzle, yeah? So once you know that, you can build a puzzle. You can build your sentence correctly. So, and, and just one more thing, Tiago Mourinho, yeah? So qu question to you, question to you, Tiago Mourinho. Are you aware of how, of how you speak your native language? Do you speak, and this goes to everyone, really, do you speak good, do, if you speak Portuguese, I, I assume, yeah, based on your name. So is your Portuguese good? Are you aware of, of how your Portuguese sounds? Is your Portuguese grammatically correct? You have to know, because when you speak in the second language, when you speak English, you have to be aware of how your, your, Portu your, your English is. Yeah, so... Uh, so Step number one is try to learn, try to understand, try to be aware of how your Portuguese sounds, yeah? So this can really, really, really help you with, with your second language, yeah? So Tiago Marinho, so thank you for your questions. Okay, which IELTS level you recommend to do an interview in English? Well, it really depends, you know, which score is required, really, yeah? So, but level, uh, okay, this is Egan, yeah? Egan, when you talk about levels, yeah? So, okay, uh, one company requires whatever, seven, eight, whatever. 
So are you going to study to for to achieve that point? Or are you going to uh, study to be at your best? You're going to increase your own levels. Yeah, you're going to you're going to work to score maximum. Yeah, as maximum as much as you can. Yeah. So the level really depends on the situation. But you should really ignore the levels, uh, Egon, and focus just doing your best, yeah? So me and my girlfriend are looking to live abroad in some years. We are from Brazil. I'm reading Felipe. Um, I'm an undergraduate security information student and her an accountant. Van Hack helps us to hire. Uh, OK, basically, Van Hack is like an intermediary between you and working abroad, right? So, uh, Felipe, that's uh, if I understand your question, yeah? So, uh, we do have recruiters, you know, connect, uh, connecting to companies in Canada and in Europe, yeah? So, they search for positions for, uh, for openings uh, and, and, and connect to those openings and opportunities to even hackers, yeah? So, premium members and non-premium members, yeah? Remember, uh, I said about premium members, yeah? But non-premium members, you know, they do have uh, lots of... Uh, 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 services as well, yeah. So lots of opportunities. So you can attend all classes. Which level of English, uh, Christian? Which level of English uh, need to be get to Van Hack Premium? All right, good question, Christian. Okay, so basically, uh, Van Hack Premium works at all levels. Uh, so uh, and what, as I said before, we are expanding our services. So uh, so so basically, all levels. Um, Christian, yeah, so, and if you understand what I'm saying here, uh, even better, so, so thank you for a question, uh, Christian, so Julio, uh, have fun next, some of the WhatsApp groups, okay, as far as I know, uh, we do not have WhatsApp group, uh, uh, Julio, uh, but honestly, uh, when, uh, WhatsApp groups, I do not recommend, we use Slack, as the main communications tool. Yeah, Slack is absolutely awesome. You can use Slack on your phone and you can use it on your desktop. So Slack is the main communication uh, uh, tool used here at VanHack. So thank you for your question, Julio. Uh, which, okay, uh, you can practice conversation. You can understand uh, Patterson. So Patterson, uh, but my conversation is bad. Okay, yeah, great, Patterson. Your conversation is bad. Yeah, basically that's what you need, right? You need uh, you need lessons. You need conversation lessons. You need uh, uh, structure lessons. Uh, uh, practice makes it perfect. I think I need to find people to practice conversation. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah, uh, Patterson, that's exactly what you need to do. Uh, I'm a game developer. I'm interested in that, Bruno. Yeah. So if you're a game developer. Uh, just join us on, on our uh, weekly uh, uh, Linux and games conversation. Uh, um, I'm having a great time. I'm really having a great time. And remember, this is not a, a, an English lesson. It's just, you know, people speak freely uh, about the things they love. So uh, thank you for your presentation. It was very important for me. Thank you, Daniel. Um, I take English course since 2012. And my dream is to live abroad and get hired for an international company. All right, Genio, uh, quickly, 30 seconds, quickly. Um, right. My dream is to live abroad. Well, you can realize your dream, Genio. Just work hard, yeah? So Van Hack can help you. But even if you don't decide to, you know, to join us to help you, you can achieve your dreams, yeah? By working hard. Remember time and perseverance? That's what you need, yeah? So... Time and perseverance, Daniel, the results, they come automatically, yeah? And remember the testimonials? A helping hand is always a good thing. So, so do you offer a kind of rehearsal where you can practice interviews? João, do you offer a kind of rehearsal? Yes, interview practice is rehearsal, yeah? Mock interviews is rehearsal. A mock interview is a practice, yeah? So it's just a practice. Imagine, Adron, it's really, honestly, it's really awesome. Imagine having the opportunity to practice interviews every week. Come on, it's really awesome. It's really good. So yeah, uh, yes, uh, that's what it is. 
how, uh, ASD, Reha Ricardo, how do I improve my English accent? Okay, remember the, the four steps, yeah? Learning step number one, learning the sounds of the language, yeah? So look, if, if, you, um, if you have problems pronouncing the R, yeah? So you are, uh, but you say you are, you are, you are. Okay, why I say you are? Because maybe my native tongue um, doesn't does not have the sound of er, yeah. So which is okay. So how do I improve my English accent? Right. Forget about accent for a while, yeah. Let's focus on pronunciation. Pronunciation is more important than accent, right? So so once you learn how to pronounce things in English properly, ASD, yeah. So by listening, listening. And trying to repeat, you can do this by yourself, yeah? So you can actually use this to help you, yeah? By recording your own, uh, uh, um, you know, your own reading. Um, so, and then you see if you're improving. Once you learn how to master uh, understanding the sounds of the second language, yeah? So, and then you have to repeat by speaking with other people. Uh, and then you go to your, your accent, yeah? Uh, an accent, you know, is something personal. Uh, um, you actually, you know, accent is really something personal. Uh, some people focus so much on accent. Oh, I really want to speak like a Canadian. I really want to speak like an American, like an English. All right. Okay. That's good. There's no, nothing wrong with that. Okay. But there are many steps before reaching the level, right? So, so learning the basics of uh, pronunciation, learning the basics of everything, and then the, the intermediate of everything, and then the advanced on everything, and then you go to accent. Yeah, so because if you don't know how to pronounce things properly, accent is irrelevant. Uh, so, yes, uh, how to improve my accent? Just get the basics right, and, and then just by listening and repeating. Personal, personal decision, ASD, uh, whatever you choose. I say every time in my lessons, yeah, so, okay, well, whatever accent you prefer. I prefer British. Okay, great. I prefer American. Great. Personal decision. 100% personal. Personal. However, which accent works best for you? So, is it easier for you to say water or water? So, and that's, you have to practice, right? Maybe with a coach, with an English teacher, or with a friend, or in front of the mirror. So practice which one is easier for you, because that should be the ideal accent for you. Regardless if you're going to work in, in, in the US, Canada, Europe, uh, when you open your mouth, your mission is to be understood. So in order to be understood, you need to speak in the clearest possible way. So in the clearest possible way is having an accent that is easier for the listener to get your message. Yeah. So there you go. Sir Rodrigo, I have a question. I have a certificate MBA in information security and analyst and development system degree, and I speak English so well, but I don't have experience as cybersecurity professional. Uh, how can one hack help me get hired abroad? Okay, maybe Andresa can help you with our recruiters, Andresa. So, um, right, uh, from what I know, Rodrigo, yeah, the mock interviews can really focus in your area, yeah? So, so uh, the coaching can really help you uh, adapt your CV to the country and the market sector that you want to work, yeah? So, uh, so I think I can think of those two reasons, Rodrigo, but I think Andresa can give you more information regarding that. So Douglas, again, uh, is in your English classes, how do you expose grammar and vocabulary to students in order to make the learning process faster. Douglas, let me tell you something. Forget about faster, okay? Forget about faster. It's slow and fast. Do not exist in learning. Remember what I said about perseverance and time? So if you want to accelerate your learning, right? Douglas, you know the answer to that. You know the answer to that. So let me, let me give an example. Let me give an example, Douglas. Imagine you have a job opportunity, okay? So the interview is in 15 days. And the salary is so high, it's really high. And they require a language that you do not know. 
The, in the interview is in 15 days. What are you going to do, Douglas? You're just going to say to yourself, ah, I don't know that language. Or you're going to say to yourself, man, I tell you, I'm not going to sleep for 15 days, man. I'm going to, I'm going to dedicate all the time I have and all the time I do not have to go in 15 days to this job interview and ace that job interview. So the answer to that faster, Douglas, is all about the time you reserve, the time you dedicate to improve whatever skill you need to improve. Yeah. So, but it's not about being fast, uh, being faster or slower. Okay. So thank you, Egon. Anderson, uh, just like getting interviews in our mother language, anxiety, nervous, mother tongue. Okay. Did you guys work on these items? Oh, yes, we do. Douglas interview mocks are done individually or in groups. As far as I know, they are in groups, uh, Douglas, but uh, Andresa can, sorry, they are uh, individual, but Andresa can actually correct me on that, okay? Uh, so I think they are individual, Douglas. So Christian, uh, how the next staff evaluate our English level? to begin premium uh, classes? Okay, Christian, that's a very good question. We are actually working and developing. Uh, 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 we, we do have one stage now, which is we call the English verification process. And the English verification process works for premium and non-premium members, okay? This is for everyone, really. So we invite you, all of you, yeah, to have your English tested today. So Andresa may, uh, uh, may post the link here, yeah? So whether you want to be um, a premium member or not, so this service is free, yeah? Thank you for your question, Christian. This service is free, yeah? So and to the first step to do anything with Van Hack is to have your English leveled to, for, you, for us to know your level and for you to know your level, yeah? So the doors could be open. So this is a free service, and basically what it is, yeah, so you, you schedule a, a 10 minute Skype conversation with one of our consultants, and you will have a 10 minute conversation one-to-one, -one, yeah, with one of our consultants to check your levels, and once that conversation is done, so basically your Van Hank account will be open to all the other services and job opportunities, yeah? So this is how um, your English is evaluated, uh, Christian, yeah? This goes to everyone, yeah? So uh, whatever you want to do, really, uh, even if you don't want, you know, oh, I'm not sure if you want to do anything, really. Well, why not having your English tested today for free? So uh, it's free, you know, we don't ask anything, really. Uh, just, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, Andres is going to post a link here. Um, super easy. The process is super easy. Renato, uh, which sites do you recommend to prepare uh, and make IELTS test? Okay, there are many. There are many online, uh, Renato, and really it's a personal choice. Some are more technical, some are easy. So, and um, I cannot think of any at the moment, but there are really many, even including official websites. So, uh, Juliana Bento, I can understand almost uh, all that you say, but when I have to say something, I feel blocked. Okay, it's a very good question, Juliana Bento. So, okay, so remember what I said before, um, the five reasons on why English should be your best friend. And remember reason number three, I think, yeah, um, that boosts your self-esteem and boosts your self-confidence, gives you the feeling of independence. So, Juliano, so this is basically what it is, yeah? So you blocked because your, your level of confidence is not the same. So let, I, I assume you speak Portuguese, right? So let's say that in Portuguese, your level of confidence is here. But in English, your level of confidence is here. And this is very logical, uh, Juliano, because you have full control of everything you say in, in your mother tongue. But you do not have full control when you speak English. That's normal. So by practicing and increasing your levels, yeah, it will increase also your confidence. Yeah. So it's all about practicing. 
So and, and and also you have psychological issues. Some people are insecure, you know, naturally. So ignoring all those personal issues, uh, um, you know, being blocked and being insecure when you speak English is absolutely normal. Absolutely normal. Okay, do you have a trial period for premium services? Douglas, I'm not sure about a trial. Uh, Andresa can answer that question uh, for you. We have 30 minutes. 30, okay, I think I'm way behind here uh, with the questions. So thank you, thank you, uh, thank you all, Julia, Ricardo. Are you using the normal speed uh, to talk because I'm understanding? Okay, Julia, there's one thing, okay? So when you do the job that I do, um, so we focus a lot on pronunciation and accent, yeah? So, uh, and this is a skill that we, de we develop uh, when you give classes, when you give lectures, when you give presentations. Uh, so, uh, so, and I share my concern with you, Julia. So remember what I said before, that you should be, you should be aware of how you sound when you speak Portuguese, if Portuguese is your language, yeah, so when you speak of native language, you really need to be aware of how you speak in your native language, right? If you're speaking grammatically correct, if you're pronouncing every sound, every sound, every consonant, every vowel. So, so once you're aware of that, like magic, uh, you start really feeling all the consonants and vowels coming out of your mouth, yeah? So that's why I say, you know, in, 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 a, in a class, for example, um, the ing uh, should be pronounced, yeah? So in English, it, it must be pronounced, yeah? Like a king and working, yeah? So and you only feel the pronunciation only when you are aware of everything. So, uh, so yes. Um, so, uh, and also, you know, one thing that, uh, that we do as well when you speak in public, yeah? So we really try to use we have to avoid using idiomatic expressions so uh just use pure english uh, because idiomatic expressions can be a little bit tricky uh for people to know uh where do the conversations about linux and game take place okay this is a, a weekly one hour weekly conversation that we we are doing at the moment on wednesdays yeah so uh yes it happens on wednesdays yeah so Douglas, for now, I think my main difficulty on English is conversation. So uh, how can I practice it uh, using premium services? Do you also have, for instance, office environment oriented classes? Okay, how do I practice uh, English <clears throat> using the premium services? Well, basically, Douglas, the premium services, they're designed for you to practice everything. The whole focus of premium services is for you to practice uh, interviews, practice your English, uh, improve your English, improve your uh, uh, interview skills, um, and then the other things. But uh, yeah, you know, most of the services they are designed for you to practice whatever needs to be practiced. Okay, so any more questions here? All right, so uh, uh, Ricardo, good evening, Jonathan. Uh, I need two or three minutes here in English to begin to understand the, the phrase in English. How can I change the situation? Okay, that's a good question, uh, um, Jonathan. But the question is, look, uh, if I say you say, I need two to three minutes to hear to begin. Okay, um, first of all, all right, so remember the analogy that I created, BIOS, ROM, and RAM? Right. Your, your ROM is only in Portuguese, okay? So there is a latency, latency, there is a lag between your RAM and your ROM. So sometimes it takes a while for your mind to switch uh, your ROM to one language to another. And if your ROM is 100% in English, so uh, this, this lag, it takes a little bit longer, yeah? So maybe that's what it is. Maybe, you know, in order for you to put yourself in, 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 in an English mode, as I say uh, sometimes, 
Uh, maybe that's one of the reasons why it takes long. But another reason, um, Jonathan, is, is that you should ask yourself, look, I'm going to ask you a question, Jonathan. What's your name? Did you understand immediately? Or it's going to take two or three minutes. So if, uh, if somebody asks you anything, it, it's maybe, it, it maybe is uh, something related to concentrate, concentration, uh, single focus. So there are many reasons for that, uh, uh, Jonathan, but, uh, but I think, you know, the analogy, the BIOS drum RAM analogy, uh, it can really help you understand how to reprogram your brain. You have to repopulate, uh, to actually to populate your, your ROM with the second language. Yeah. So, uh, Rodrigo, do you offer a chat room 24-7? Uh, well, the, you know, the chat room 24-7, 365, Rodrigo, is basically on Slack. So, yeah, uh, we answered at the same time. So, yeah, so Slack is like 24-7, uh, uh, Rodrigo. So, um, yes, is there. And do you know what is, what is awesome about Slack, uh, the Slack community, Rodrigo? That uh, we have literally, literally thousands, thousands of people there. So you can speak with Von Hack staff. You can speak with, co with other people from all over the world. So even, you know, Premen and non Premen. Yeah. So, so you can actually practice your English by just joining the chat, there are many rooms uh, on Slack. Uh, so, and you can join a particular room and just chat with people there. And, and it's very active. Every day is really active. So, uh, yeah, Slack is, is uh, where you have an opportunity to uh, practice your English, being a premium and non-premium. So, um, so there you go. So any more questions before we wrap it up, before we close the stream? So there's a latency here. So, so if I ask you any more questions, I have to wait a few seconds, really. So OK, Douglas, how the resume LinkedIn profile review is done? OK, I think Andresa can, ask, can answer that question, uh, Douglas. Do you speak directly to the career coach in order to improve it? Yeah, Andres is going to answer that question to you. By the way, thank you for all the answers. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Douglas. That's why we are here. We do this once a month. This month's topic is English. So uh, it's always a pleasure. We do things because we love what we do. As I said, this is a weird business because we're happy when you lose a client. So we're very happy when you lose a client. It means that we did our job well. So, so any more questions? Uh, a personal question. Where are you from, Ricardo? Okay, very good question, Julio. I was born in Brazil, educated in the United States, and professionalized in England. So on my box, is there's a, a, a stamp there written... Made in Brazil. So there you go. Thank you for your question, Julio. So any more questions? Still 65 people here. So shall we close the stream? Okay. Professors are native. Yes, Douglas. If they're not native, they're as native. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Miles, will Van Heck hire support jobs in the future? Uh, what do I mean by support jobs? Uh, do you mean, uh, Miles, that you're looking for a job uh, at Van Heck or you're looking for a job, um, network engineer? Yeah, maybe uh, if you could explain your question a little bit, or maybe if Andresa uh, can help you with that. Okay. Uh, Miles, with my counter support. Okay. Any more questions? It seems only the same people are asking questions, which is no problem at all, but 
feel free to ask any questions you want. And if your English is not good enough, that's okay. You can write here in broken English or use Google Translate, but uh, uh, you can write your questions here. Absolutely no problem. All right, so how are Brazilians seen abroad? Do we have a good impression, a good reputation? Oh, Douglas, this is a... Uh, how are Brazilians seen abroad? Oh, this is a very generic question, Douglas, but that's... Uh, um, really, this is an individual thing. Imagine, you know, uh, you know, one million people, uh, uh, 999,000 people are seen as whatever, but you are seen as a good professional. So this is a, an individual thing, yeah, really. So uh, you shouldn't be concerned about that, really. Uh, Really, 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 you know, this is a personal thing. It's, it's like in the company that you're working for, um, you know, let's say you're working for a company that does not have a good reputation. Look, let me give an example. Uh, you work for a tobacco company, right? Uh, with all due respect with smokers, yeah? So they sell a product that gives cancer. So if you work for them, do I judge you? Oh, man, I don't like you because you work for a tobacco company. No, I don't care. You know, the, your job, you know, decisions are yours. So really, it's an individual thing. So Miles, can Van Hacker help me get support jobs like help desk, help desk uh, support network engineers? Okay, Andresa will, will answer that question for you, Miles. I recommend listening podcasts to improve. Yes, Sergio, a podcast can really help you. Remember what I said before, uh, that listening should be vol uh, voluntary, that you should decide what to do. There you go, one very good example, yeah? So, decide for yourself. So, Adele, I'm a monit monitoring guy. I see a lot of jobs for developers, some dev ops. I have dev skills too. Currently, I work with monitoring. So, uh, Adeo, I think Andresa can help you with your question. Okay, any more questions? If you have no more questions, we will close the stream. Okay, no problem, Miles. Right now, we work only with tech talents. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Andresa, for your support. So there you go. All right, so I, I think we're close to uh, to end our stream. All right, so uh, for the ones that still remaining, so I'll, there's somebody uh, raised a hand here, but uh, we're not using this feature. I'm really sorry. So, uh, well, I would like to thank you all for uh, joining us. Okay, Tails, yes, I have a question. Go ahead, Tails. Thank you, Christian, for your question. So, this is it, thanks. Okay, thank you, Tiago. Okay, so we follow the simple rule. Do things with passion, you feel the energy, you love it. So, so what's your question, uh, Tails? I believe in your language, you pronounce your name Thales, right? Thales. So, if you have questions later, we are on Slack, okay. Uh, Andresa, uh, okay, um, I'll get married next year in March, and I'd like to move abroad after that, the sooner as possible. So should I already start the applications? All right, so um, this question, Thales. So I'm going to answer English skills related, okay? Um, so and maybe Andresa can as answer the second part. So can help you with the second part of your question. So, um, right. So as far as your skills are concerned, English skills, uh, do not wait. You should start up preparing yourself yesterday. Um, you know, so yeah, everything yesterday. You know everything really 
Um, but as far as applying for jobs, so I do not know if you apply for a job today and how long it takes until you actually move to another country. So Andresa can help you with that. Uh, there you go. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Thales, uh, thank you for your question. Andresa, um, just give me your okay. Shall we close the stream here? So no more questions. So thank you, Thales. All right, so uh, all right, so we clo gonna close. I'm gonna thank you all. Yeah, I hope you had a great time. I had a great time being here with you. Um, you know, the first half of our presentation, yeah, the first half of our webinar was really important that, uh, to all of you. Yeah, um, this will be on our uh, YouTube page if you wanna see it again, uh, just in case you want to say, you know remember uh, the things we covered. Uh, so it will be there. Just go to YouTube and type Van Hack, and uh, you will find this webinar and the previous ones as well. So thank you all for an amazing webinar, and uh, have a great week. And um, I wish you success to all of you. Thank you. Bye for now.